In previous lessons, we have learned how to use the preterit tense to talk about our holidays in the past. So we have used the preterit tense to talk about actions in the past. For example, nade en el mar, I swam in the sea, or visité monumentos, I visited monuments, or saqué photos, I took photos. And I remind you that that E with the accent is very important to mark it in the past. Also, we have seen I went, fui, an irregular form in the past tense, in the preterit tense. For example, fui a Italia en coche. I went to Italy by car. So we use the preterit tense to talk about actions in the past. Today we are learning the imperfect tense. It is a tense also in the past, but we don't use it to talk about actions in the past. We use it to describe what something used to be like. So let's recap some forms in the present tense that you're familiar with. For example, I, which means there is or there are. Tiene, means it has. Está, it is. We use it for location. For example, el hotel está en Londres. The hotel is in London. As you see, I'm saying a place after. So it means I'm locating the hotel in London. So we use esta specifically for location. And then es, which is mostly to use to describe as well. For example, el hotel es bonito. The hotel is pretty. Right. So how do we say these forms in imperfect tense? So I becomes había, which means there used to be or there was or there were. Tiene becomes tenía. It used to be or it had. Está becomes estaba. It used to be or it was. And es becomes era. It used to be or it was. So we use the perfect tense, not for a specific action in the past, but to describe a period of time in the past or describe something in the past. For example, el hotel tenía un restaurante. The hotel had a restaurant. Or también había un gimnasio. Also, there was a gym. El hotel estaba en el centro. The hotel was in the center. Here you have an example of how to use location. And el hotel era bonito pero caro. The hotel was pretty but expensive. And now I'm reminding you here, as you see, I put this in blue, el and bonito and caro. Just reminding you about agreements. So el hotel, bonito and caro are all masculine and singular forms. So these are some examples of how to use the imperfect tense. Now, this is key information because the imperfect tense, as I just said, is a, is, a ten in the, in, is a tense in the past and I want to see it in your writings. So copy the definition of the imperfect tense in your book and also copy the key information and the key forms of the imperfect tense that I am marking now. Right, copy this in your book.